What's better than a highly detailed Metroidvania-style game full of unique weapons, enemies, and bosses? How about one where every time you die you get to start the whole thing over again? Well then you know it's time for... Dead Cells! Strap your mysterious fiery blobhead on your body and get ready to hack and slash your way through swarms of grotesque monsters on platforms. Carve your own unique path through procedurally generated levels within 17 biomes that feature their own variety of enemies and hazards. You'll come to love or absolutely hate each one depending on how often you succeed or fail miserably in the process. These include classics like the first one, the one you always seem to end up going to, the one where you thought the floor was here, the shitty one I'll never beat, the one with the angry pirates, and the annoying one that gives me panic attacks like Sonic trying to find air bubbles but also in the dark. Enjoy all of these and more while you tear apart monsters to collect gold, items, and giant glowing currency blobs conveniently called cells. Then after each level, take these cells and gold and invest them in various upgrades. Cells are invested in permanent upgrades such as more health flasks, keeping gold in between your inevitable deaths, and randomizing your starting weapon so that you have to restart a half a dozen times to avoid the ones you don't like. Then you can continue to bounce your lifeless face off the floor of each new level as you inch your way through what is, in reality, only about 40 minutes of actual content if you somehow manage to win. But find solace in the fact that you probably never will and you can add Dead Cells to the ever-growing pile of roguelites you've given up on. Dead Cells, the game you tell everyone they should play even though you'll never actually finish it yourself. Thank you for watching abbreviated reviews. Most people would tell you to thumb that button up and perhaps other things, but I'm not going to boss anyone around. You just keep an eye out for the next one and who knows, it might actually be a good one.